Good morning everyone, so I've got a load of uh, fun things to do today, I'm very excited for it. The sun is finally out after like a week of horrible bad weather, so I decided to film another studio vlog but it's going to be just for today, so there's enough stuff I've got to do today that I think we can make a whole video out of it. Um, first things first, I've got a bunch of clay pins that need um, the final touches of paint and the keychain and pin backs glue to them. There's a shop update going up next week. It's currently Friday 21st of June. So when this video goes up, um, the shop update should be live. There's going to be three new prints. There's a bunch of new clay pins and keychains going up. Plus, I'm also going to be selling three original paintings. I've got the third painting to do today. So that's also on the to-do list. Um, I've got a pitch for a client I really want to work with lined up. Which I need to get done by the end of this week, so I'm hopefully going to do some more stuff for that today. My workspace desperately needs tidying up because it's been getting pretty messy the last few days. I've also bought some new drawers to organise my Etsy things in, so I'm going to do that as well. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be a fun day. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, lots of fun stuff. So I take you along with me. So the process of making these keychains starts with 
one of these tiny little uh, split rings which I wedge open with um, a little stick. These are actually things used for like those scrap of foil things you used to have as a kid where you used to like scrape away the stuff but I use them now for clay things. So I wedge open the little split pen, get it stuck on here so that I can use my other hand to attach on the ring like so. And then I just do the same again for the pin. So wedge it open, grab the clay thing, and then use it to wedge it on. And there we go. And that's how you make a little keychain. <laughs> Hello again, so it's now it's now in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, I haven't quite got done as much as I thought I'd be able to uh, by this point. I've got all 18 keychains um, ready. I've got 13 pins that I've just put pin, pin backs onto. So all of the new pins and keychains are all completely done now. I was also hoping to get done the original painting. I have two hours before I go out with one of my friends so I'm hoping that I can get a painting done in two hours. I have tidied my room to an extent, it looks a lot better, I've sorted out my Etsy stuff. I just got a new Etsy order which I now need to pack and hopefully ship tomorrow but I think I will just leave all that for tomorrow. I'm not sure I'll have time within the next two hours. I did get a bit distracted because my, uh, my screen protector for my iPad just arrived and I put that on quite badly. There is dust in it quite a bit, but it's going to be fine because I don't want to use the other one in case I need it to. But yeah, so I got a bit distracted by that. That took a lot longer than I thought. So now I'm kind of just trying to catch up time. So I'm hoping that two hours is enough time for this painting. It should be. The rest I do in like an hour. Fingers crossed. That's how we're going to keep going for the rest of the day. Keep working. Um, hello, so it is the next day now. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get everything done yesterday. I really, I managed to, um, I managed to sketch out um, the original painting that I need to do, but I didn't get the chance to paint it. Uh, so I'm gonna do that now. I did spend the time yesterday though packaging that order, which I sent this morning. So I was still productive with the time I had. Um, I didn't have quite enough time for the painting. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, yeah, hopefully. We're back on track now. See, we're still getting stuff done, which is good. 